Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to talk about this crazy story that's coming from nasty ass North Carolina. So now this woman has been in the news literally every few months. This whole situation is a mess. If you guys remember back in early 2015, a woman named Marie Holmes, she won $188 million Powerball, okay? So she won this, she claims she's gonna give some money to her church, get a house, do this and do that. One thing that this idiot has consistently done since winning this money is bail her damn boyfriend out of jail, okay? Now, a lot of folks have asked me to speak on this. You know, I really didn't even want to go there with this whole situation because I just felt like, you know what, she's an idiot, it's her money. But at this point in time, something with this entire situation makes no sense to me. For the fourth time in less than a few months, she has bailed her boyfriend, not her husband, not her baby's father, her boyfriend out of jail. And this time she posted a $12 million bond on the second day of January. We're only a few days into 2016 and this bitch wins the award for being the most ride or die hood rat 2016. Kudos to you, bitch. And I now want to present Marie with a ceremonial big check. <laughs> The Powerball winner's boyfriend was bailed out of jail again for the fourth time at a $12 million bond on Friday. Mary Holmes, McDell's live-in girlfriend, ranked in a multi-million Powerball jackpot in February. This is going to make a huge difference for them. Like, they're going to be able to go to school, not have to worry about paying for it. They're going to be able to live a comfortable life and not worry about struggling. This time, Lamar, Hot Sauce McDowell, 31, is accused of arranging a street race Saturday, and police said he was arrested Tuesday for violating the terms of his pretrial release on earlier charges. Back in October, he was bailed out again, and investigators in the Brunswick County say McDowell is a gang member. Local attorneys say his bonds are skyrocketing because the amount automatically doubles if a defendant breaks the rules of a pretrial release. Efforts to reach Holmes and McDowell were unsuccessful Friday night. McDowell's previous arrests include drug, assault, and weapons charges. This whole situation makes no sense to me whatsoever. You know, this man has been arrested, charged for heroin possession. She's built him out for several million dollars before. And when people confront her about this and drag her on social media, she's saying it's her money. She can do what she wants with it. And that's very true. It is her money. and She is allowed to do with it what she pleases. But I just think it sets a bad example for her children that she's sitting there condoning this man's behavior. And it's clearly obvious that at the end of the day, this man does not love her. If he really cared about her and he really loved her, you got a chick who is worth 188 million. His only focus should be about building something with that, flipping that money and doing something legit with it. You know what I'm saying? Making businesses out of that money as opposed to draining this woman. The whole situation makes no sense whatsoever while she's steadily bailing this guy out of jail. He obviously loves being locked up. He obviously loves jail because his ass can't seem to stay the hell up out of there. You know, my thing is I could see the first time she bailed him out, but the second, the third, and now the fourth time, Obviously he likes it and obviously he knows he can do what he wants to do because this idiot will continue to bail him out. Now another thing that bothers me with this entire situation is the fact that he was arrested um, this time for setting up some type of, you know, illegal street race and they're saying that his bond is $12 million. What I find funny about that is the fact that Ethan Couch, okay, the little white boy who killed four people, his bond was only a million dollars. So it makes me feel like, are they purposely jacking the bond price up because they know that this woman is a lottery winner and that basically she can afford it and that's more money to help, you know, the taxes in that county? She really needs to be thinking about the bigger picture as opposed to just trying to bail out her boyfriend. This whole situation to me just makes no sense whatsoever. Well, damn ever. Damn bitch, is the damn dick that damn good? Are you that damn digmatized? Because I don't understand why the hell she keeps bailing out this idiot time and time again for well over a million dollars. It just makes no sense whatsoever. Well, damn ever. And my thing is, has she not won the lottery? Has she not won the money? What would she do then? His ass would be sitting in jail where he needs to be, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, y'all. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story, honey, that's once again coming from nasty ass North Carolina. All right, deuces. Hey guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.